In our first scenario, we're going to convert a DGN file to DWG, and in this DGN file, you have an external reference attached, and in that reference uh, file, you have an, an external file attached. So, in fact, these files are both attached to our master file, and this uh, file is nested in as an attachment. So, uh, we're going to go into our, our level manager. And you'll see that each of these files have levels one, two, and three, respectively. And so this is a scenario where we have the files sharing the same level names. So let's go ahead. We're going to, in our master file, we're going to turn off level one. We're going to go to our reference file, and we're going to turn off level two. And we're going to go to our nested reference, and we're going to turn off level three. So you can see that in each of these, we have a level that is turned off. So while level two is on in the master file, and while level three is on in the reference, is off in the nested reference. So we're going to save this to DWG. So we go to Save As, we go to our options, and in our options, we want to make sure our source of level display is set to view one. And we're going to go to our reference tab and we're, we're going to retain the reference. And we're going to also make sure that our reference files get converted. So we want to check on the option to convert reference files. So we'll save this file to DWG. And now you see that the files were saved. Uh, we go to our reference dialog, and you see that the references were saved. And also, you'll see in our scenario number one that not only did the master file get created, also our reference files. But most importantly, you see that our level on-off settings for each of the files was maintained. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.